I was able to find 11 unconfirmed weapons in Halo Infinite. Will these show up in the game and how will they play out? We'll stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So while doing some research on Halo Infinite, I was looking across the internet for different kind of things to talk about. And I come to realize that we've had multiple little re leaks and releases throughout the last couple years of Halo Infinite's related things, and a lot of it still is unconfirmed. So in this video, I was able to find 11 different items that are unconfirmed for Halo Infinite, but I feel like are actually rather likely to show up in the game. Some are pretty much obvious, and some are yeah, kind of iffy. So if you guys like these informative kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this if you want to stay up to date with everything going on with halo as we ramp up to the release of halo infinite make sure you tap subscribe let's get right into the content here so the first item i want to show you is what's called the armament blaster this first showed up of a few months ago and actually was physically in the stores of target you could find i've been looking around haven't been able to find it since but to me this looks very forerunner in nature with the very angular shape to it and also just like the gray and blue aesthetic which is typically what you see for forerunner type structures so to match that faction or aesthetic you would try to do that with the weaponry as well just to kind of get some continuity there so i have a very strong feeling this would be some kind of a hard light forerunner kind of weapon now it does have a very generic name of the armament blaster which armament is just like the general term for like guns that you utilize so there really isn't much to look into when it comes to the name of it itself so looking at this it does maybe kind of have an idea of like maybe the center part kind of has like a charge that it shoots and maybe like the two prongs at the top and bottom of the weapon they kind of char do some kind of charge or some kind of light system with it as well again that's pure speculation because obviously we've never seen it in gameplay though it does look really awesome it does look very classic forerunner in nature but still new and exciting most likely like a handgun probably like a single wheeled handgun like we've seen with like the mangler from the banished side of things though it does look really cool and i'm super excited to hopefully get a chance to see it in halo infinite this one i'm fairly positive because it basically had like halo written on it it's advertising pretty much for halo infinite that make an actual like gun you can hold from the game you would think it'd be in halo infinite Number two on the list here, I think was pretty obvious. It is the gravity hammer for the brutes. Now we haven't seen it in any kind of gameplay videos or any kind of official screenshots of any matter, but with the brutes coming back and also obviously with the banish being led by Atriox, still, even though Eshram's the main villain, the brutes have been known for the gravity hammer, so it'd be highly unlikely to not see it come back in Halo Infinite. We just haven't seen the brute hammer come back in any official capacity. Next weapon might kind of ease some of your concerns because if you guys remember from the gameplay demo of 2020, we had a chance to see the pulse carbine. Now this is kind of like a burst fire close range kind of weapon, which a lot of people started being concerned since it had carbine in the name that it's uh, replacing the classic carbine. Well, the Mega Construct story reveal showcases right here that there is a design of a classic carbine this elite is holding this elite and all these other models that we've seen are all been associated with halo infinite i mean we even have like a banished phantom right next to this character as well which it would be awesome to have a banished slash covenant version of a single shot long distance rifle because the next one we have on our list here is the dmr now the dmr has not been confirmed in halo infinite in any capacity but i've seen around in multiple toy promotions when it comes to saying like action figures and mega constructs as well interesting thing about this dmr though if you're looking at this keep an eye on this site right here it's very blocky much more reminiscent of saying of like the halo 5 and halo 4 model where you go to the next screenshot here it's the same kind of gun model, but it doesn't have the sight on there. Could this be one of those weapon variants that 343 was talking about in their recent development update for the Ask 343 video? Possibly. Or could it just be a feature with the toy that you can take off the sight if you like? It could be that as well. This next screenshot kind of digs back in one of the original toy reveals that we saw, but it actually does showcase that the Halo Reach plasma repeater looks to be coming back in Halo Infinite. The screenshot right here of one of the toys that you can buy right now on Amazon.com that says Halo Infinite right there shows an elite holding the plasma repeater that we last time we saw was in Halo Reach. Now the plasma repeater, while an interesting weapon, it didn't really fit into the sandbox. I feel super well when it comes to Halo Reach. It felt like a less effective plasma rifle in a way. So why have this one? Maybe because it's like slower firing, heavy or hitting kind of plasma in some kind of way. Uh, though I would like to see if there's some kind of rework that they could do with this to 
hopefully make it so that it actually functions better. It looks like it still has like that rotating piece in the middle where that, that hole is. Obviously it could be made for holding the weapon itself for the toy, but if you guys remember, there was like this rotating item within the weapon itself. So if it overheated, they kind of would just like chug along a little bit. So we could maybe see that feature come back, but we'll see what happens with this plasma repeater for Halo Infinite. This next weapon looks to be a new weapon for Halo Infinite and Possibly more specifically made for the Jackal Snipers. I know a lot of you Halo 2 fans probably hear Jackal Sniper and start cringing, but you know, obviously it's been a little decreased since then. So this new rifle we're looking at is called the Stalker Rifle. Now seeing this weapon paired with a Jackal Sniper does make me feel like this is kind of much more of a stealthy, long distance, maybe a high damage, low fire rate kind of weapon. Though it doesn't exactly like look like a sniper rifle in a way, like we saw with like the beam rifle from previous Halo games. It looks almost kind of like a Pulse Carbine in a way that we've seen from Halo Infinite. So this could be maybe like a long range single fire kind of weapon as well. Obviously there are a million different ways 343 could balance out this weapon, but I just want to showcase here that there is this weapon that's going to most likely be in Halo Infinite and probably more long distance focused because of being attached with the Jackal Snipers. Next image showcases a new weapon and a returning weapon most likely with Halo Infinite. If you take a look at this image, you see two different weapons that these two characters are holding. The Spartan here is holding in what I'm calling is a shock rifle in a way. Uh, we've definitely seen this with the Brutes been holding this one a lot. We've also seen UNSC characters hold this quite often. You can see with the firing effect that this weapon has with this Photoshop image here, it does look to have some kind of electrical element with it as well. Now electricity isn't something we haven't really seen used a whole lot within Halo's universe for a damage type, but we do know that there is like this shock grenade that was thrown within the gameplay demo as well. Now I've been seeing the same weapon being in position with different images, like mostly as an anti-vehicle kind of weapon. Before I continue on with that, I, with the next image showcasing that even more, I want to showcase the other weapon within this image, and that is the Focus Rifle from Halo Reach. This is actually a weapon I had in my top 10 weapons I'd like to see come back, but kind of reformatted in a way. Obviously he's facing it towards the Spartans, so maybe still kind of have the anti-personnel kind of effect to it. If you guys remember, the Focus Rifle from Reach was actually designated as a sniper rifle, which didn't really feel like it, but um, if it wants to be that way, I mean, certainly there's different ways that 343 3 could tweak this. Here's an image of the Brute Warrior holding this uh, shock rifle is what I'm calling it right here. You can see it's very reminiscent of like saying the Brute shot with that blade underneath it as well. And here's another image of a Spartan utilizing this shock rifle against this banished vehicle. Now, I think it's called a skiff. It has been confirmed that this vehicle will not be in Halo Infinite. So I just want to point out this continuity that we saw with the previous image against a Banshee being with that shock rifle and now with this skiff or whatever being utilized against a shock rifle as well. So I just want to point out that continuity that I've seen with this weapon. In this next section, I want to showcase the last three weapons that I want to show off to you guys. Now these are much more classic kind of weapons. Now these could may or may not be in the game as well, but I want to showcase them to you anyways because I've been seeing them involved with Halo Infinite as well. So one of the toy reveals showcases Mongoose and an Elite right here, and the people on the Mongoose, this guy's holding an SMG. We haven't seen the SMG be in Halo Infinite yet, but I would highly suspect to see it come back as it was in Halo 5, and it fit its role rather well. And just to the left of that, you do see that there is an Elite holding a classic plasma rifle as well. The plasma rifle, I'm pretty sure that we'll see that come back as it's just one of the iconic weapons that we've seen within Halo's universe. Another image here showcasing a Marine holding an SMG, the Elite holding the plasma rifle, but in the middle there is another Marine holding a different kind of shotgun. Now we do know that there is the Bulldog shotgun and there is this other shotgun that's like a high power, high low fire rate kind of shotgun that we haven't seen yet either. Now this could be part of like a toy section that would be probably reminiscent of just recalling some of the classic Halo days, that could be true. Maybe Maybe it's a weapon variant. Maybe it's not even in the game at all. We don't know because this is all unconfirmed, but interesting nonetheless to point out. If you guys like these kind of videos and want to see some more content like this, or if you've been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, make sure you check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. So thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.